So far we've talked about functions and the scoping rules in R, uh, and you might be wondering why any of this information is at all useful. So in addition to just writing regular functions for manipulating data or, or for doing calculations, uh, there's one combination of the scoping rules uh, and functions uh, which can be very useful in statistics, and that's for optimization. So there are a few optimization routines in R uh, called Optim, uh, and NLM, and another one called Optimize, and they all require that you pass uh, a function to those functions uh, whose argument is a vector parameter. So for example, there's going to be some function that you want to minimize or maximize um, at, over a range of parameters, and functions like Optim, NLM, and Optimize uh, take, a f take that kind of objective function and try to find uh, the minimum or the maximum. Um, so the idea is that, but in statistics, uh, this objective function that we're trying to minimize or maximize, let's say just like a log likelihood, is going to depend on other things that besides just the parameters that you're maximizing over. So for, in particular, it's going to depend on things like data. And so the question is, well, how do you specify a function that, that depends on parameters and data and perhaps many, many other things um, uh, in a clean uh, way and to, and to write it in a, in a, in a kind of readable uh, programming style and to make it easier for the user to kind of to use these types of functions. Um, and so, and furthermore, and when you're doing these kinds of optimizations, in many cases, it's useful to hold certain parameters fixed. Uh, and so, for example, fix a parameter to a certain value, then optimize over the other parameters. So the basic idea with, with any optimization problem in R is you can con create a, a constructor function, which constructs the objective function. Uh, and then once the, ob and the objective function, the idea, is, the idea is that it would have all of the data and all the other things that it depends on would be kind of included in the defining environment of that function. So, so they ca it would kind of carry along those other things like baggage, you know, in its, in its enclosing environment. And so um, that way you don't have to specify those things every time you call the function. The only thing that you need to specify is the value of the parameter. So for here I've got... I'm, I've written a constructor function uh, that creates a negative log likelihood. So just as a note, uh, most of the functions in like Optim and NLM and Optimize in, in R, uh, they all attempt to minimize functions by default. And so uh, when you write your objective functions, uh, if they're designed to be maximized, then you have to kind of take the, the negative of those functions so that you can minimize them. So uh, another thing is that all the code in this example I'll be, will be on the website, uh, so you can take a look at the code and try to run it yourself if you want. So here I've got a constructor function uh, that's making a negative log likelihood because I want to minimize the negative log likelihood function. Uh, so this is my objective function. It's going to depend on some data, and so that's the argument. So the data is the first argument to this make dot neg log like function. Uh, the second argument is a logical vector called fixed. And it, and it determines whether or not I want to have want to fix uh, some of the parameters. So uh, now in, inside the constructor function, I define another function, which is it takes an argument called p uh, for the parameters. And this is going to be the parameter vector that I want to optimize over. Um, so basically what this function is going to do is going to return the log likelihood for a normal distribution. And I'm going to want to fit my data to this normal distribution. Uh, and so we know that a normal distribution has two parameters, a mean mu uh, and a standard deviation sigma. So those are going to be the two parameters that I want to optimize over. Um, and so here I'm just defining. Uh, the log likelihood uh, and taking the negative of it so that I can minimize it. And then what, what the constructor function does is it returns the function uh, as the return value. So here I'm going to simulate some normal random variables with mean 1 and, vari and sorry, and standard deviation 2. Uh, and, and then I'm going to make my constructor function, I'm going to call my constructor function with these uh, random variables uh, and create my NLL or negative log likelihood function. So when I print out this function here, you'll see that uh, it ha I see that the body of the function looks like the, no uh, the, the code for the normal distribution, uh, just like in the constructor function before. But if you look at the environment, you see this little tag down here at the bottom that says the environment, and that's the uh, enclosing environment for this function. And so normally, because uh, when you define a function in the global environment, um, that it would just you, you, there wouldn't be a special environment tag down here. However, when you define a function inside of another function, then there has to be a pointer to the to that defining environment so that uh, R can remember kind of what the values of all the free parameters are going to be. And so, um, uh, if you look at uh, the so this this in this zero uh, x sixteen uh, five b one a four that is a hexadecimal. Uh, 
a number which gives the address of where the defining environment uh, is located in memory. So if you look at the body of the NLL function here, you'll see that pretty much everything here is uh, either a local variable or it's a parameter. It comes from the parameter vector p. However, there was one argument. Sorry, there's one variable here, the data variable, uh, which is not an ar argument to the function, and it's not a local variable. So it's a free variable. Uh, but the data come from uh, the make neg log like function, the constructor function, which were originally passed the data to that. And so the data can be looked up in the environment that the function was defined, and it knows what the data are. You don't have to tell it what the data are. It's already fixed in the function. So if you look at the environment uh, for this negative log likelihood function uh, by calling ls, you'll see that the, um, the data uh, variable is there, the fixed variable there, which indicates which, which parameter should be fixed, and then there's also the uh, params variable there. So those are all, those three things are all free variables inside this negative log likelihood function, um, but they're defined in the defining environment. So now I can call optum on my NLL function. I'm going to pass it some initial values for mu is equal to 0 and sigma is equal to 1. And it'll run, and you'll see that it, when it optimizes the function, uh, it, the 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 estimates turn out to be 1.2 for mu and 1.78 for sigma. So pretty close to the truth, remember, which was 1 and 2. Uh, now, I could, if I wanted to, I could fix sigma to be equal to its true value and then just optimize over mu to get the mean. And so when I call make dot, so I need to reconstruct my, optim, my objective function by calling make dot neg log like. And here I set the fixed um, variable to be false for mu and then 2 for sigma. So I'm setting sigma to be equal to 2 and I'm letting mu be free. So here, now I can just call optimize because optimize will minimize a function of a single variable only. And because I only have a single variable in this uh, function, I can, use, I can use optimize. And you can see that it, it estimates mu to be about 1.21. So slightly different from the previous optimization. Uh, I can also fix mu to be equal to 1 and try to optimize over, um, over sigma. And and by do that by in order to do that I have to construct another function for optimization and call optimize on that. Here I get my estimate to be of sigma to be about 1.8. Uh, if I want, I can plot the likelihood uh, or the log likelihood, and this is very easy to do uh, when I have a function that doesn't depend on a lot of other parameters. So here I'm going to make the neg negative log likelihood. I'm going to fix mu to be equal to 1, and I want to plot the uh, negative log likelihood uh, as a function of sigma. Uh, and so I construct my function here in LL. I, I construct a sequence of grid values um, for the x-coordinate, and then I apply my... NLL function to all those grid points and create uh, my y variable. So now I can just plot this um, as, a, as a, I can plot the x's and the y's and connect the dots uh, using the type equal to L. Similarly, uh, I can uh, plot the negative log likelihood as a function of the mean uh, by fixing sigma to equal to 2 and letting uh, mu vary. And similarly, I create another grid of points, uh, another set of grid points, and I evaluate the NLL function on those grid points and I make a plot. So the nice thing about lexical scoping in R is that if you're doing minimization or optimization of some sort, you can build these objective functions uh, which contain all the necessary data and all the other kind of uh, bells and whistles that are required to evaluate that function. Uh, into the enclosing environment of the function so that when you call the objective function, you don't need to specify the data and all those other things every single time. They're kind of built into the environment and they'll and they be automatically looked up in the right place. Uh, so you don't have to carry around these long argument lists um, that uh, in order to evaluate the function every single time. So this can be very useful for interactive work and for exploratory work, like for example, making these plots. Um, and this can so the code for these uh, for these types of functions can be very simple, very simple, uh, and kind of cleans because you don't have to carry around these long argument lists. Uh, so just for, for, for reference, the main reference for this type of for the lexical scoping rules in R uh, is the paper in the Journal of Computational and Graphical Statistics called Lexical Scope and Statistical Computing. Uh, and Robert Gentleman and Rossi Haka, who uh, created R, uh, have some very nice examples in this article.